Hi guys, and welcome to an example of a quadratic that cannot be factored kind of just using our normal methods, okay? So we would have a quadratic that looks like this, okay? And there's no leading coefficient. There's no number before the x squared. And so we're going to use our lovely x factor method, okay? So we're going to draw our big X, okay? Then we're going to put b, right? It's a, is x squared minus bx minus c, okay? So we're going to put our b on the bottom, so our negative 8 goes on the bottom, and our c goes on the ceiling, so it's going to be a negative 15 on the ceiling. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give us negative 15, that add together to give us negative 8, all right? So if we can't think of any off the bat, the first thing that you should do then is create a little factor tree, okay? So for negative 15, we could do negative 1 and 15, or this could be positive 1 and negative 15, but either way, when we multiply them together, sorry, if we added them together, I mean, if we add them together, we're going to get either positive or negative 14, and that's not the negative 8 that we want, okay? So we go on to the next factor pair. We could do negative 3 and positive 5, and again, that could also be positive 3 and negative 5, but either way, when we add them together, we're either going to get positive or negative 2, and that's it. There are no more factors of negative 15, and so we've exhausted all of the possibilities. We cannot possibly get a negative 8, and so we put our answer as cannot be factored. Okay? Now be careful here, okay, because they're going to try to trick you into trying to put a negative 3 and a negative 5, but that would give us a positive 15 instead of the negative 15 that we want, okay? So you want to be really careful and make sure that you're really paying attention to those negative signs. And that's it.